Hey everybody, this is James M. Fry. How are you? It actually worked. <laughs> Hello and a happy, happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday, right? Whoops. <laughs> it's Tuesday, isn't it? Um, I just got back from the, yes, because I got back from the uh, cruise on Friday. So day was really kind of screwed up because uh, it's been, we've been an island, island time. And island time means you're really not sure what day it is or time it is because you don't have to be. So uh, Alaska was great for everybody that wanted to know about that and asked about that. Hi, Robin. I'm glad you're watching. Uh, and, and I want to again thank everyone that was on the cruise uh, that went with me. Um, it was really, really wonderful. We went and did, we went through depths of uh, awareness that I think a lot of people never expected. We did a healing temple uh, with different rooms to have forgiveness, uh, res let it go of resentments, let go of suffering. It was really kind of cool. So I will continue to share a lot of that as we go on. And look so far, it was so hard to get internet on the on the ship. So sorry I couldn't be live with you. Um, and yesterday, Monday, I don't even know what day it is. What day is it? We've been feeling kind of lot, ugh, tired. So Kelly and I have both been a little zonked. So we thought it'd be better if we just wait to do the both sides now beyond and this whole care because it was just, I was just actually just woke up from a nap. Actually, look at ourselves. But I wanted to say hi to everybody. So. <clears throat> Hi, Robert. Hi, Lori. Yes, well, Kim, okay, I say the cruise started next Monday. We're back on our feet. But we will be working Labor Day during the day. Memorial Day. Is it Labor Day? Yeah, Labor Day. Or Labor Day it is. Uh, Hi, Tommy Lynn. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I turned 65 while I was away. And um, that's funny. <laughs> Good friend of mine, yes. A friend of mine sent me a lovely birthday card. <coughs> that was from Kelly White. Isn't that funny? Oh, it's so funny. Hi, Barbara Bates. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, everyone. Changing things around a little bit here and there. So um, um, I, I, I try to use the courses that you see, bundling those courses that are most popular, but they didn't really do really well. I think people were a little mixed up, so I'm gonna take those off. And uh, we're gonna start with mediumship two in a couple of weeks. So uh, when, next week we're start mediumship two, which a lot of people have been asking over the year. So we'll get that going up for you guys. And uh, I'm doing a lot more Facebook lives and a lot more TikTok. And while I was up there, Christine that you saw earlier on the Facebook page, she showed a little about TikTok, which is great. So we have TikTok lives as well. And stay in touch with my peeps. Hi, Susan Turner, how are you doing? Hi, Mary. Thank you very much, Mary, for the belated birthday wishes, thank you. What blew my mind in the trip? Oh God, a lot blew my mind in the trip. Um, oh gosh, the, well, what blew my mind in the trip? Uh, during my birthday, I had a birthday meal at a specialized restaurant, especially a restaurant, and it was a private room, and uh, all of a sudden the captain and the entire officers, all the officers came and circled the room and wished me a happy birthday, and that was very much a mind blower, and that was really beautiful, and it's one of those life memories, those life moments, that you all know about them, you have those life moments where you think, wow, um, it's, it's pretty incredible. I always remember this. So that was pretty much a blower. The other crazy kind of strange thing was that I saw the glacier up there and last time I was there was 2017 and um, it was 12 miles receded. So it was far back 12 miles, which was really, really upsetting, kind of depressing. Uh, Kelly and I both cried because it was like, wow, it used to be much closer. So that was a little upsetting. You see, Pull the caps out, melting right before you. That was a little upsetting. Those two things, really. Let me go back here because I see the questions going backwards. So let me just, okay. Hi, Joy and Lewis. I had an amazing time. Christine uh, is, a, is a lovely lady from TikTok who I love. Just a great person, real angel who lives on a Holland American ship and she does her TikTok. So we're good friends on TikTok. Pearl had to be thrilled to see me. I haven't seen Pearl. So um, I have been feeling great. So we're keeping Pearl away until I feel better because I don't want to get Pearl sick. So you can hear it in my voice, I'm a little ugh. So uh, I just thought it'd be safe for her to have Pearl and, um, with her doggy friends. She has a whole bunch of people from the dog park, uh, doggies at the dog park and friends at the dog park who all hang out and they, um, one girl, uh, this lovely lady, Sophia, um, takes care of a lot of the dogs there when their owners are working and so forth. And she's a big yard. And she's keeping Pearl with her doggy friends. They're sending pictures every day. So she's in heaven. She's in heaven. I miss her terribly. 
But um, I'm here unpacking by myself and just enjoying the sidewalk. Hi, Mary. Hi, Patrick. Hi, Linda. Hello. Do you plan to come in Texas? Um, right now, Linda, I'm just planning to go to, let's see, what's next on my agenda? I'm planning on, um, I want more people to reach out to my school to take more classes. I'm trying to how to do that. Not just financially, but I want people to get the experiences of them because it was so valuable. Like the spiritual meditation course is such a good course. And after that, that would sell like hotcake because it includes everything. So I'm trying to figure out a way to have people do that. But uh, th th that's really my emphasis as a school. Um, we're also looking into travel, but not as much travel. But, you know, um, Texas will be in, in the planning. Next year, I'm going to be doing work with uh, Maureen Hancock. And she's a uh, medium on the East Coast for love. And then I'm thinking of that going to Australia next September. So we'll see about that. You love the med meditation, the medication course. It's a great meditation course, isn't it great? I, I mean, I put heart and soul to that. That is, if any of the courses, that's when you should get it. All of them, that's the really best one. Hi, Bonnie. Am I going to come back to Washington State on your class? Oh, for high school. Um, so the, really, the way I go to is if someone can take and sponsor me to go there, uh, then I'll do it. But I, I just can't do it on my own, especially at my age then, I'm 65. It'd be hard for me to coordinate all that. So I'd have to have a company or a uh, sponsor me to bring me up there, fly me up there, put me up at a hotel, give me an honorarium. Not a big honorarium, just give me an honorarium and then we do it. But um, I also reach a lot more people around the world online, which is good. I like physical teaching. I will be doing mentorship. I'm going to be doing some mediumship mentorship for those that have taken my mediumship courses. And that's going to be an in person. So as we're, right now, as we're trying to figure out. Um, where to do it. I might do it in LA, Los Angeles, and it'll be a week-long mentorship with me. It'll be a limited amount of people, and it's probably about, um, gosh, uh, two, three, six, six hours a day, five days a week, and that'll be, uh, that's what I'm looking at right now, too. So we're looking for a venue for that. And that would be people that have had mediumship, my mediumship classes before. Hi, Tina Wilson. It says to bring them on the video. I don't do that because I don't know much about technical things, so I don't want to screw this up. <laughs> so. Hi, D Dana. Hi. Oh, how have you been, Dana Bagshaw? Good to see you. Uh, Lori Smith. Hi, Lori. Lynn is not in the scene. I don't think so. Um, no, she, she's very busy in England, so. Yeah, no, and I'll be uh, <clears throat> busy next year if I go to Australia. That'll be the big trip for me, so. All by myself. Thank you, Betty. It's a good course. Thank you. Tell people about it, please. Thank you, Jess. I'm looking good for 2065. Thank you. And I just woke up. I didn't even clean my face after I woke up, so I'm sorry. You got me. Here I am. <laughs> Thank you. It was hard to get that. Like I said earlier, it's hard to get internet on the... Uh, boat because it kept on going in and out. You could only really call on uh, when you're at port and I was teaching every all the other times. Hi Laura. Hi Laura Pineda. Hi Arlene. Hi Karen. Oh, thank you. You're, you're great. Thank you. Oh I love the little the charms next to you. Thank you. So do you think Brisbane or the Gold Coast? That's the question of mine. Brisbane or the Gold Coast? And then October, I'll, don't forget, I'll be traveling also in October to uh, Scotland. Um, a week in Switzerland, actually. I'll be in a week in Switzerland teaching uh, in Switzerland at a mediumship uh, school there. And that'll be with myself and Gordon Smith. And then I go to Scotland and teach with Gordon. I actually do a demonstration with Gordon. Uh, then I'm going to go to Dublin. I'm going to go to Dublin, Ireland, and I'm going to do a one-day course in Dublin, and that'll be coming up on the website soon. It'll be October, I believe, the 22nd. And uh, then I'm going to be back in London, in Copley, England, doing another workshop. And then I come home on Halloween. You met me years ago. My dad came through. You've been an incredible inspiration. Oh, thank you very much. Appreciate that. Hi, Lloyd Clark. How are you? I haven't seen you in a while there. Well, that's a good question. I was, the writer I was planning on doing the writer within, but it's, it's instead of the writer within, because um, there are more people that wanted the mediumship number two course, 
And um, so I thought I'd put all my energies toward that. And so that's what I'm doing now. But uh, right within probably springtime. I need time to have people come. I want to do something in person with people. So it's going to be a little hard with both classes. A Scotland trip is my dream. My, oh, good. You should go to Scotland with me. Come on over. Siobhan, I'd love to, but I, I... There we go. You're watching me. But you can see me, right? Okay. I just don't push buttons to people on video because I don't know if I'm going to screw it up. <laughs> uh, Karen, did you advertise it for many years ago? When it, uh, workshop in London many years ago. Amazing experience. Thank you. I love working in foreign countries. To a point, I prefer American audiences, but I love all audiences. Uh, the Scots are very difficult. The, the, I'll be teaching in Switzerland where we have um, German, Swiss Germans, uh, and the people are very rigid, very, very rigid. So it's very hard. Uh, the first couple of days, really, really a lot of work trying to get open their heads up because it's very rigid. So trying to soften them up is a little difficult, but you know, I do my best. I act the fool. Uh, Joanne Lewis, and you are not coming to B Birmingham, UK. Uh, I'm going to Copley, wherever that is. I don't know about Birmingham. Birmingham? No, I don't think so. Just It's Copley. Where's, I think it's in London, isn't it? Copley. Don't push buttons. I'm not going to push buttons. Thank you. <laughs> I'm Maureen O'Toole. Heather, you can start writing now. Um, if you have a, What's your idea for your book? You, just, you can tell me right now and I'll help you with that. Any revelations during your trip? A lot of revelations. Um, you know, it was the first time I was in the public for a long time, and um, I don't miss it. <laughs> it was interesting to stand back and observe people. Um, I just have a whole... And it was funny because I had a lot of people on my trip who were there from the very beginning, about 30 years, 20 years ago, 25 years ago. Uh, this uh, older lady, Linda, a great lady, this lady, uh, Rita, and this man, Ruben, and his wife. And uh, that made me cry, and that was really touching. And we just compared how things had changed, eh? and that was really revelation. Just that, you know, it's just life. We get older, and the, things, the world has changed so much that we were observing that. And I was at a cruise ship, and the cruise ship just seemed that, um, I don't know, not as many people, of course, everything's understaffed, so things are very, very different in this world. It's just, as you all notice, things are very different now. Um, how do you guys deal with that? How do you deal with, uh, what do you, how do you guys cope with, Things that are different and changed. I'd like to ask you. Oh, good, Paul. You were just talking about I'd love to see you in Minnesota. I know I'd love to go to Minnesota if I could. Joseph, I've done yes, Joseph. I've been with 30 years, right, Joseph? God bless you. You had to show you picked me out of the audience because my husband had just passed. I want to speak to Paul. I have all those tapes in the show beyond. My birthday was great. It was a really beautiful birthday. You were in Newcastle, UK, quite a few years ago. I wish you could be. Newcastle, oh, Newcastle. Now I have a memory of Newcastle. I could not understand a word they said in Newcastle. And I asked Tony Stock, I said, what are they saying? I can't understand a word. Because yeah, we have a hard time understanding them too, so. Oh, that's funny. And the Scottish also going to be very hard for me because I was doing a demonstration in Scotland once. And I remember the audience was laughing at me and I was just telling the lady this name or something of, of someone. And she, they all started laughing. And I said, why is everyone laughing? Well, that's the name of a, a, a soap detergent. I said, oh, I didn't know. That's what I got. Yeah, it was a nice cruise. If you've never done uh, Alaska, you should definitely do it now before everything's gone. Um, it's a seven days, a very quick one. Very quick. Uh, it's, it's, uh, you have to get used to crowds. I wasn't always used to so much crowd crowds again, but... Yeah. You know. uh, so next year I'll be doing the New England probably New England tour. Hi Amy Wilson. Hi Brenda Stacy. Kelly and I had a wonderful time together. Um, she's such a great friend, great person, great medium. We did a, th a three-way link with Janelle Campbell, my friend, uh, Kelly, and myself, and each one did a part of the spirit message for, each, for the person. And it was really wonderful. It helped everybody. <clears throat> I also uh, did an audio of the um, of the course, so I'm ready for them to send that to me, and um, that will be put up for sale for people to listen to it if they want. It's about um, stepping into the spirit world, basically. Thank you, Sharon Hughes. 
Oh, thank you. Thank you, Cindy. He loves the pearl. I know I miss, I have to kind of put her out of my head for a little bit because I, I'll cry if I, I know she's not here, but I know she's getting good. Um, I know by the photos, she's doing very well and I don't want to get her ill. So I'm, I'm not, you know, up to par. So I'm just, I don't want to get her any, any ill at all. Hi, Goldie. Yes, Mother Earth. We got to send healing Mother Earth. We did in, in the in the workshop. We sent uh, healing to Mother Earth and Father Sky, and we were in the middle of the both of them, and we just sent love and healing and acknowledgement that we're part of Earth and we're part of the sky, we're part of both. And uh, so we're just, uh, you know, that's really what it's about. Triple linking. It was pretty amazing. Yeah, it was pretty amazing. You know, I'm only working with people that work along well together and get along well together because it is like a dance. So there's definitely a, a sensitivity to it. Um, anxiety for illness. Um, 20 day transformation. The bundle would be the best for you right now, honey. The bundle is excellent. The 7 day energy cleanse, uh, 20 day transformation. That's the best one. Um, so 7 day energy cleanse, 20 day transformation. But look at the bundle. That's the best value for your money would be the bundle. And it's going away tonight. So look at today if you want. That's the best one because you have all three courses, take them and whatever you want, and they're filled with gemstones. They're filled with life changers. Here we go. This got a little bit more. Let me see. Betty. Hi, Betty. Hi, Betty, Mother Scott. I think people have to be, well, you left me already. People have to be retaught to be compassionate and loving toward them. Yes, one another. I agree. I agree. Um, Yes, I was talking with uh, Linda about that, and I said, gosh, one of the courses I'd really love to teach is a course on manners, because people have forgotten manners, which I just find so difficult, and difficult to live in a world without manners. I just I just don't understand it. Oh, Kathleen, there are many different schools. There are millions of schools, not just this earth. There are millions of different schools, whether it's about compassion, philosophy, academics, my sister's in school, my father's in school. People that they don't get a chance to do things down here, they go over there and they learn from schools over there. All different types of schools. I, I, I'm limited to say because I don't know all of them, of course, being this human uh, body. But there are many, many, many. As Megas Patel would say, they're worlds within worlds within worlds. Yeah, so Don, I'm gonna come to Australia, looking to come to Australia next September. And we're touring Melbourne and um, Sydney and uh, Sun, Sun, well, Brisbane probably. Um, I'm not sure. Um, and you know, John Edward goes down there too, so I wanna make sure I don't, um, I don't uh, I'm not better than he is, because I don't wanna mess that up. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Christine. Love seeing you too, Amy. Was it, did you have a good time, Amy? Hi, Esther. Very true, Lisa, but only lead by example. That's exactly right. Saying that, leading by example, we still get frustrated being the humans we are, right? That's a good frustration. Because I remember the old ways, and it's just a little frustrating. But, you know, it's all just observation. Uh, Paul, Luke, Jeremy started live meeting. Really, Paul, the best would be, I would say, take that spiritual mediumship, uh, med I mean, spiritual meditation course, take it, because it's all about sitting in the stillness. And for any medium, I would say sitting, if you can't sit in a live circle, you should at least be once a day sitting in the, sitting in the silence of your being, at least 15 minutes every day. That would be my advice to you, my friend. Hi, Mary Anderson, love you. I know, thanks, Lori. Let's see. Hi, Charlene Miller. Maureen Atul, Richard in school. And so, if, if so, which one? So, Maureen, tell, what does that mean? Tell us more. Hi, Karen. Brisbane, yay! I'll come see you. Thank you. That's true, Betty, Mother Scott. Many people are just asleep. That's exactly right. Kelly and I sat and we talked about it. I said, a lot of people are just sleepwalking. Just sleepwalking. They have no idea. They're just sleepwalking. Very, very true. Hi, Esther. Talking to Heaven. Yeah, I should write another Talking to Heaven book. Thank you very much. Yeah, the power of love. I love I, I might be doing a, a 
deal with Hay House very soon. Do a series of books. Excuse me. <coughs> Oh, good evening, the Netherlands. You must have heard us talking about how great we love the Netherlands this past week. We love us. We love Amsterdam's our favorite place. It really is a great city. Oh, thank you, Donna. How long have you been studying, Donna? <clears throat> I'll just, I will be doing live shows on Monday again. Next Monday night, we're going to just, we're going to start again next Monday night when Kelly and I are back to our normal selves. Right now, I'm a little ragged and so is she. Yeah, we do our hearts and souls at least. Hi, Angel. Good to see you, Angel. Yes, Louise Hay and I, yes, I'm going to work with Hay House uh, a little bit more extensively now, and uh, they're good people to work with. Planting seeds of love. It's always the bike. Live bikes. That's it. Example. I am, Kimmy. I'm going to be there next uh, in October. So check out my website. There's some places there you can travel to see me, if you don't mind. Scotland and, and Copley. Copley is probably the closest. That's outside of London. If you want to go there, that'd be great. I'm still over. Other places are sold out, but I think that would be the closest one. Thanks, Patricia. God bless you, Crystal Burgess. Yes, I have Facebook. Yes, on Facebook, there's uh, suggestions of books that we recommend. Uh, I had the Chamberlain Pike. So excited. Meet two new guides in two days. Yay! Well, one, one an angel with an eagle face. Ah, oh, it's also eagle faces. I couldn't get a name. Not sure. Hi, Karen. Remember, Paul, remember I was live with Ethics with Tony Stock while we had a phone take with you and you wanted to come to the... Come to the bar with us. I'm sure. <laughs> You know, after working on a, a, a demonstration all day, you're such a high level of energy. You need to bring it down. And I find a glass of wine, red wine, uh, and a red and a steak. Believe it or not, it grounds me right away. So that's what I, I need to do. Uh, yeah, and that's it. Thank you. Shalomi, love seeing you working so long. I saw you in the plane in the 90s. Oh, thanks, Shell. Did I guys, I tell you guys a story about the last plane ride I had with a lady? It was so funny. Uh, oh, Brian Weiss, Betty. Yeah, good friend of mine. Very wonderful man. I do Brian very well. We, we imitate each other. Yeah, he's, Brian's a lovely man. Um, I'm to Wales. I won't be in Wales, but I'll be in Copley, England. I was on a plane ride, a lady had just came back from Omega, and it was, I was in the middle of Detroit, and it was a whole day of canceling flights, and this lady was sitting next to me, and I said, oh, did you, um, were you traveling? Yes, um, all day, where'd you come from? Oh, I've been to a place called Rhinebeck, New York, you probably never heard of it, and I said, oh, I've heard of it, she goes, it's a place called Omega, I said, yes, I've heard of Omega, she goes, I, I, I went there to something called Mediumship, do you know what that is? And I said, yes, and I asked who the teachers were, she said, oh, those are my students, <laughs> she freaked out. I said, I'm pretty well known in the field. She goes, are you? And I said, yeah. And I told her about the school and showed her the school and she freaked out. And then I said, and there's a movie about my life too. And she downloaded the movie there on the plane and uh, was watching it as then every once in a while I look over and see what scene and she's on the, oh, she's gonna, she's gonna be laughing. I got a second, oh, she's gonna be scared. I got a second. And uh, it was funny at the end I said, what you, it was great editing. It's a great ending of the movie, that, which I wrote. And I, and I, I said to her, so I looked over at the end and she takes over her headset. She goes, I said, well, she goes, you're scaring me. You're really scaring me. And I said, why? She said, because you're sitting right next to me. What's the odds of that happening? I said, well, that's how the spirit world works. They work like that. That's what you've got to learn from this experience of all these cancellations of flights between yourself and mine. There was someone in control and uh, that made us together. It was pretty amazing every day if we look and see all the miracles and the ways, the strings that the spirit world pull for us. It's pretty incredible. So again, this is my last day for the um, bundle sale. I'm going to take it down tonight because they're not that great. Uh, um, I think people are really mixed up with it, but it's a great value if you haven't done it yet. 
I'm pulling that off, and then we're going to talk about next week's media issue too. We're going to get fully involved with that. That'll be the next big thing. Uh, the line of six plants in retrograde, Beth Johnson. So Kelly knows a lot about it. I've been looking at it. Kelly, really? Because we had really one heck of a thing going on with the retrogrades on our trips. We missed certain, certain um, let's see, buses that fell apart, never made it. Two of our tours would make because of things were falling apart. So it was all the retrogrades. So I had an amazing time with the people. They really were. And, and I listen, it's the first cruise I've ever done where actually I had to buy something to make. Like I got a watch for like seventy bucks or forty bucks, and a shirt for twenty bucks, a really nice shirt. I had all this credit left over from all the cruises, so it's like I had to get rid of it. So I like that part. It was the first time I was actually had to spend money, not give them money. So it was funny. So, <laughs> uh, thanks, Maureen. To a level, look, love all your look, all your book level looks hot. By first talking to heaven the borders, and they were so low, but I know. Hi, Marie Crane. Lovely to see you again, darling. Are you doing okay? I think of you often, Marie. And I send you my love, darling. And I, I, I love the time we've shared together and uh, the, the moments we've had, the experiences. Oh, good. Very good, Heather. We met people, one of you guys. Very good. Patricia Kings. I saw you based on Queens here years ago, Queensboro. Yes, Patricia, that's where I went to school, a member of the school of Queensboro College. That was what the five years ago for well, before COVID, right? So yeah. <laughs> that was great. I really enjoyed it. They were redoing it, I think. Um, what's the name of your movie? The movie's called Talking to Heaven, it's just like my book. So it's on it's on Prime Time. Uh, you can watch it at home on the screen. And it stars Ted Danson, who plays me, Mary Steen Virgin, his wife. And the funny thing about that movie, if you're gonna watch it, Jeff Pounds plays a father who looks just like my father, Diane Ladd, who, I'll tell you the inside scoop of it, uh, of that movie. So, in Talking to Heaven, um, it's the story of my life, based on the first book. Um, I did a read, I was, I was, there was a man on the plane, a writer, and he was writing a script for, the, for this, for Talking to Heaven. And there was an empty seat next to him, and Mary Steenburgen sat down, and she said to me later on, I never sit on the plane to talk to the plane, I just don't do that. But I, my father, who's in the spirit, pushed me to go sit there and talk to this man. So she said, what are you writing? And he said, oh, it's funny, you're sitting here writing a, 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 a teleplay based upon James and Proverbs talking to heaven. And I'll meet him. And he said, yes, you, I, I, I might be able to get him to see you. So anyway, to make a long story short, I sat with Mary and with Mary's house and Ted's. And, um, and what happened was, we, um, I did a reading, and Ted didn't believe in any of it. And um, his father came through, and his father said, and I can tell this publicly, he allowed me to do this. Um, his father said, um, you know I'm in heaven if I'm my herringbone jacket in front of a fireplace having a scotch. And Ted was sitting on an ottoman, and uh, Ted fell off the ottoman and screamed, like, ah! I'm like, oh God, what did I do to Ted Danson? So, and other people were there too, so the celebrity people or whatever, they were around. Anyway, at the end, I asked his head, and I said, you okay? He goes, yeah, you don't, uh, believe. it's amazing you did that. I said, why? He said, my father used to come home from work every day and put on his hair bone jacket, have a scotch, and sit in front of the fireplace, and that's how he died. So that was that, it was pretty amazing. And then what happened was, um, really interesting, uh, the next morning I got a phone call from the production company that was doing the movie, and they said, Les Moonves, who's the head of CBS, said, um, they're not sure they can do the movie because they can't find a, a lead. Someone that wants to play you, play a medium. They called Gary Sinise, he turned it down. They called this guy, he turned it down. There's one more person that Leslie wants to call because he has a show with him and he's um, obligated that he might be able to do it. And I said, well, who's that? I said, well, it's a man playing Becker, Ted Danson. I said, I was at Ted's house last night. <laughs> I said, well, can you call Ted and ask him to do it? And I said, no, I will not call Ted and ask him to do it. That goes way beyond the boundaries. So Ted's manager heard about it, and because of that, it's from Ted that he had me. Ted thought about it and thought he would do it. So Ted did that movie based on because of that reading with me. And in the movie, um, which you watch, the little Jamie's that's my name, and that's a little boy. We filmed at Vancouver, and I went up to look at the set uh, and hung out with Mary and Ted for a bit. And it was great. I looked at the set, the baby, uh, the bedroom of Jamie's bedroom, and the exact same wallpaper that I had as a child. Now they never knew that. And there's also um, the, the name of the trucks that were all the production trucks were named Driscoll. 
That was my grandmother's maiden name. Uh, there was also a statue in the room there that um, my mother used to have in her house, and I didn't know that. Um, another thing happened, which was really weird. In the middle of the movie, um, well, when I was a little boy, I should stop, but my, when I was a little boy, I used to go to the choir with my mother and sing in the choir, up in the choir loft, and there used to be a lady playing the organ. And I said to her mother, I want to play the, I want to play the organ one day in church. Well, well, maybe one day you will. So, I had, you know, I used to play by ear. So anyway, during the movie, um, Ted, uh, John Pilmeyer, who was uh, the director, uh, not John Pilmeyer, excuse me, um, Mr. Gyllenhaal, uh, Gyllenhaal, <laughs> the father of Jake Gyllenhaal, um, he, uh, he said, listen, I'd like to put you in a cameo. I said, cameo? He goes, can you play the organ there at the, in the church as we walk down the church aisle? I said, I can. So there I am in the movie, a cameo, and I'm playing the organ as Mary Steen George is walking down. And it's just the weirdest thing. And obviously, my mother impressed them to, to do that because everything is impressed by spirit, I think. I mean, many things are impressed or inspired by the spirit world, and that was a great one. And another thing that happened, Diane Ladd, uh, in the movie, she, she walks down to the hospital wing and she's like, had a stroke. And that wasn't in the script. And I said to Diane, how come you did that? She said, your mother told me she had a, a stroke. I said, she did. And so Diane is very mediumistic and everyone believed in this, which was really nice. It was meant to be. So it's a wonderful movie, Talk to Heaven. It's a great mystery. It's based on a, a case that I worked on a long, long time ago when I worked for the FBI um, about a girl who was missing. So it's based on that. And we, we opened it up a little bit more with John Pilmeyer, who was a writer who wrote Agnes of God, a uh, wonderful Broadway writer. So enjoy it if you haven't seen it and get it on, on primetime video. All right? All right, my guys, I will see you soon and bless you all. And thank you again. And um, we'll talk soon. Okay, many blessings. Lots of love. Bye.